It's just got down to low tides and we've pulled up here on a sandbank and we're about to pump some saltwater yabbies or saltwater nippers as they're known. Uh, and we're going to fish for whiting using these very lightweight uh, Rovex Alliance rod and reel combos. The uh, line we're using is a six pound monofilament, running that down to a small, small swivel with a sinker and a very short little trace of four pound fluorocarbon line. And we're using two different hook setups. One is a bait holder hook so that we can bunch the yabby up a little bit more. The other is a long shank hook with a little bead. I can spy some big white in cruising around on these flats, so I'm gonna get ready and pump some nippers so we can get some bait and get fishing. What we're doing here is we've pulled up on a very shallow sandbank. Often you can come and pump for nippers or pump for saltwater yabbies when there's no water at all in the sandbank. When you're in a situation like this where there still is a bit of water, you're gonna need a sieve with some kind of flotation device around the outside so that you can basically find a yabby hole, pump and get the sand into. And there we go. There's our first little yabby. Now you need to check your rules and regulations about where you're allowed to pump for saltwater yabbies and saltwater nippers, depending on what you call them, because you're not allowed to catch them everywhere. Once you've pumped up a bunch of nippers, like this big guy here, Get your trusty Jarvis Walker bait bucket, pop all your tasty baits into your bucket and you're ready to go fishing. So I think I've spied one just over here, it's quite a good one. What we need to do is make a leading cast, which means just a couple of foot in front of the fish. It's a little hard in this wind, but a bit off target. Then you want to keep your line tight, there's a bite. There's a bite. There it is. Missed him. Oh no, there he is, just a little fish. It's not the big fish I, was, I saw on the flats. It's just another one of these miniature little whiting. What you'll find with whiting fishing, especially in the estuaries, is that you catch a lot of these little guys. Remember to handle your fish really gently. The reason we love fishing is because of the fish, so always respect them, especially when they're little. There's always plenty of these little whiting when you're whiting fishing, so take care to release them. You can see just there, if I rotate this fish, he's got this downturned little mouth so that he can suck you know, into the sand and you know, get worms and yabbies and other kind of crustaceans. They also eat fish, uh, a range of fish and prawns. I'll pop this little guy back in and see if I can keep hunting for a slightly larger one. If you need any tips on fishing or tackle, go to jarviswalker.com.au. Hopefully we'll see you on a sand flat somewhere really soon.